Okay, so I'm going to show you how to take a solid design, and what I mean by a solid design is something that you could cut out on paper and then like hold in one piece. So like the one I have on the screen is something I made and something that's available for download for free just for this tutorial really, but you can use it for whatever. Um, and it is one solid design. There's no extra pieces just kind of hanging off because that won't work for this. So what you want is to take your design and then you need a square the size of the design or the size of the card that you want with the width doubled. So for this, I'm going to do like five by seven cards. So I did a 10 by seven square and I will show you that how it's 10 by seven. And then the next thing to do just to make your life easier is you want to put a score line in here right across the middle. And you're going to do that by just clicking insert shapes. By the way, if you don't know how to split square, you just click insert shapes and this you just upload. So we're going to click on score line. And I want the score line right here at five. Well, maybe. There we go. Can't get a hold of it. Okay, I have it at 5.01. I apologize for making you wait through this, but it's important. You need to have it split in half or your next thing will be a little off center. So here I'm going to take this into consideration and just kind of size this as is. Um, I have this on not locked proportions just because I want to be able to play with it just a little bit but you can put it on locked proportions if the design you're using can't be stretched a little bit this one has a little bit of forgiveness in it all right and then you want to place this here and make sure it is centered to your eye so you're the one that's going to be looking at it that's all that really matters is if you look at it and like it and then you're going to insert another shape um easiest thing I found to do this is just to look at what yours is at, mine's at 4.42, 6.28, and I'm just going to put that on the exact same thing, 4.42, what did I say, 6.28, 6.28, and that should give me, let's just double check, yeah, these two things are the same size, and then I can lock the proportions on this, and just kind of I don't know what happened. My mouse glitched out. Okay. Just kind of move it in just a little bit so that we can catch the sides. And then I'm going to aim this over. And one thing I want to watch right here is this B because I don't want it to be like left out. Okay. And here's really just you're eyeing it. You're kind of looking at it, making sure in between the score line and the edge is the same distance. Um, the top and the bottom is the same distance. You kind of just want to get a good, good center here. Okay. To me, that looks pretty good. Plus, I'm not actually making those cards. No, I'm not going to be super picky with it and waste your guys' time. And now what I did is I clicked on this little square and then I clicked on the big square and I held shift while I did it so it selected both of them. Then I'm going to go to layers and slice. Now this won't slice into your design, it'll just slice out of this paper, which is what you want. I'm going to click on the first one and delete it, click on the second one and delete it. And this is really what we wanted, we wanted this overlap just to where it hits the sides. I'm probably going to play with this just a little bit and I'm going to click on this again and move it to the back. Keep going. All right. Then the primary concern here is that my B is just a little bit outside of my design, so or inside my design, I should say. I'm gonna do a little bit of placement here and play. I'm using a design that can be manipulated a little bit. I think I already said that, but hold on to this, and then I'm gonna push shift and 
click this one, and I'm going to push, no, that was wrong. I was supposed to push weld. And then a fact won't work, obviously, now, but I want to move backwards and keep my score line with this. And the score line, you do want to attach it, so let's go ahead and do that. And that will just make sure that it, when you do do your card, it'll do it on the right spot. However, when you do a card, you want the score line in the inside, but you might just do the score line on the outside and then use that as a guide to flip it the other way. But there it is. Um, pretty simple. Oh my. I'm just now seeing that. If you've been seeing it for a while, I apologize. My blessed right here went a little wonky. This happens sometimes when you weld. It happens like not only on this program, but like in Inkscape. It's just, I don't really know why it happens. I think it's just like a node translation issue. Um, usually the trick to get rid of it is kind of just to play. Move some things around, maybe resize it. That's still happening. Okay. Undo again. I'm going to take both of these. Actually. Ooh. Okay. I want to take this and this and this. I want to move it. I'm gonna try this again. This is just one of those things I I don't know what the fix would even be. Like and I write programs. If you've followed me for a while, you know sometimes I use the program that I wrote to make these, and sometimes I just use Illustrator and then like for this I used Inkscape. But it's just one of those things that happens. I'm not sure why, if there's even a rhyme or a reason for it. But the trick seems to be just playing, giving everything a little scoot and a move around. Okay, this is really close, but let's try this. See if it'll weld it now. Oh, there we go. Let me double check, make sure there's no black spaces. Okay, it looks like it got the outside and that is a little less welded than I like to be. I really wanted this B down here to be flush, but it does still look pretty good and I'm gonna move this to back so that we can still see our score line and that's how you create a card with just a one piece design and you can put whatever you want in there. Your card doesn't have to be that size if you want it just to go over the design and kind of just be double that. Um you can pretty much do anything you want with this. Just try to make like a solid block of something and you can turn it into a card and that is all i just wanted to show you guys this quick trip quick tip and i hope you have a wonderful sunday